designed a roof mount. We need these roof mounts by next week, Monday. On Monday. So how many parts do you need? Well, we'd like a thousand if that's possible. I know it's a, a really parts. short notice. Anything for my home island, uh. We have these solar post parts. I got a thousand pieces. I need to go get my tools right now and I need to make sure I get these pieces immediately down to Dana so he can run them. I have a series of tools that I'm gonna be putting into this SL10. I have a turn tool that's gonna go across and turn the outer diameter. Then I've got a three-quarter end mill that's gonna do the front counterbore. I have a drill that's gonna be doing the tap hole diameter. I have a groove tool that's gonna to come in right afterwards. It's gonna run a little slower than the rest of the tools, but it's gonna make the groove diameter absolutely perfect. After the groove tool comes in, the tap's gonna come in and it's gonna make some threads. The thread has to be absolutely perfect because this part's gonna be bolted into a roof in Hawaii. After the threads are in, then the part off tool is gonna to come and cut the part so it drops right into the bucket. All right, we are rolling. My son Tyson is running a thousand pieces. As they come off, they're going over to Dana. Dana is flipping them over in soft jaws, decking the top, putting the threads in, and putting flats for the wrench. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, Titan, good to see you. What's well, amazing you're able to pull it off because we're, we're really behind schedule. We're so. So what do you need now? Well, we actually have another project. We're working with NASA and it's, um, we call it Scorpio, and we need five units of this microfluidic routing system. When do you guys uh, need the parts? Well, I thought you could bring it on the plane with you when you come out on Monday. Like, this is Friday, like on Monday, when I come on Monday. If it is possible, it, I will do what it takes. You know what this part is? Scooter part. <laughs> <laughs> no, this part is actually for HNU. This part is one of a whole assembly that we're going to do for non-embryonic stem cell testing. I'm working on this HNU peak manifold. I'm gonna simulate the program, make sure everything looks good. Got a three inch face mill shaving the top, half inch end mill cutting the profile, little tiny 364 send mill, which is like 10 hairs put together thick. It's just a tiny little thing. Cutting the channels out where fluid's gonna be running through. Looks like everything is running good and I'm good to go. I'm over here working on the peak part. Peak is a organic thermoplastic polymer. It's very robust and strong. It keeps tight tolerances. This biotech part actually has some tiny little end mills. Instead of being one inch, they're actually 364, so that's 46 thousandths. This is very critical that we hit this thing perfect. I can't even have the tiniest little hair sticking down or we're done. Now we're going high tech. We're gonna use double end tape, a piece of aluminum, and a part right here to create a thin shim, which is gonna be a cover for this body. The only problem is, it's only 30,000 thick. You can't hold that in a vise, otherwise it's just gonna bow on you. So we are going to tape it down. We're gonna create parts that go to space with some double end tape. It is absolutely perfect, 30,000. That's the way we do it. Sometimes you just gotta get it done. Crazy. Yeah. So I got the Scorpio 5 parts for wow. you guys. You guys are taking it to a new level. That's yes, awesome. Yes, we are. Well, with these parts, we are going way up to space. How do the parts look, Richard? They look great. I'm measuring it right now, and they're all within tolerance. They're, they're looking good. I got a set over in the uh, lab already being assembled uh, for operation. Yeah, we, we literally had like a day and a half to get this thing done. I can't believe it. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see how the system works. We have a contract with NASA to put it, one of our microfluidic imaging systems on the space station. We had other companies try to deliver something that took four months. They couldn't meet the tolerances, and within a few days, Titan delivered these uh, extremely challenging parts. You guys are basically taking the cell or stem cells and putting it up there and putting different medications and different things that you're testing, and in its natural state, 
you're watching it go over the cell and seeing how it responds to it to know if it has a negative or positive reaction. If you can learn how cancer genes are expressed in other conditions, microgravity being one of them, you can learn more about cancer. And so what you delivered is going to be essential for the, the next stage of the system. What's key about the parts uh, that you may tighten is the tolerances. We're flowing things at picoliter levels, it's mm -hmm. a billionth of a liter. And so that's why the, the tolerances were so tight and that you were able to meet those is, is a huge advantage to the system in, in working in space. To infinity and beyond. Wow, no more tubes everywhere. Great job, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh. Ready for space launch. Ready for space. <laughs> So the carports, the roofs, they're actually solar panels, and that's it. And you guys designed everything. Yeah, that's correct. We actually have, uh, what we're looking at is 30,000 square feet of solar carports here with uh, over 1,700 modules. This is the largest PV system on Maui, um, and we're here middle of the day and it's cranking out half a megawatt right now. That's awesome. Yes. Great job, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Great job. HNU has done some incredible jobs here on the island. We're going to head over to my old high school. I'm going to get on the roof and we're going to install some solar pens and solar panels. All right, Titan, so we got uh, 96 of the posts that you brought us and we're fixing them to the roof here for our solar racking system. We're making a mechanical connection to the steel purlins of the roof, so it's not like our typical retrofit. It's like this right is, into the foundation. This is part of the building when we're all wow. said and done. So here's the post. Awesome, it's for part. Yeah, so you got the O-ring. So what do you use, some kind of sealant? Right, there. so there's a little pitch pocket there for our sealant and the O-ring gasket. And once that cinch is down tight on the roof, we got a watertight seal. Nice, awesome, burly awesome. attachment point. It's, awesome, it's the best one I've ever put in. Cool, let's do it. Yep, and now back it out with the bottom trigger. That's money. Oh. And tighten that as hard as you can. Quarter turn, boom. There you go. Woohoo! Right on San Anthony's roof. Yes. There's one of our uh, end clamps, so that T bolt slides into the channel there. Yep, there you go. 7 16 deep well socket. Give it a few spins until it grinds on you. There you go, you just put in the first solar panel. Boom! There you go. <laughs> Thanks, man, that's awesome. Boom! The HNU solar posts went right into the structure of the roof on St. Anthony. Hurricane proof, waterproof, boom! <laughs>